Hi, I'm Tim Siglin, contributing editor for Streaming Media Magazine and chairman of Brain Trust Digital. This video is sponsored by Video Guys for Streaming Media Producer. An interesting statistic came across my desk the other day. While there's a continuing decline in PC sales, it turns out that the workstation market segment has never been better. And it seems like whether it's for video production or media production, oil and gas exploration, anything with heavy 3D and graphic, th there are pretty much two choices. You can either have the trash can, or you can have a computer that looks like a real computer. I personally use both, but for the best performance under the hood in one neat and tidy package, we think that you should take a look at the HP Z series workstation line. Now, you'll find a number of written reviews that we've done in the Z series workstation line on streamingmedia.com and Streaming Media Producer, but today we're going to look at the Z820. The Z820 is the big boy of the HP line, and we thought it would be better just to do a show than a tell. So let's first start with the design. As with the initial Z800 workstation that we covered, HP uses a design that was created in collaboration with BMW Design Works. The tower-based Z820 workstation is designed to flow copious amounts of air through the chassis, but to do so at a sound level that's more akin to a consumer tower design. It does so by using custom-designed airflow pathways coupled with large fans. The larger the fan, the better the airflow at lower revolutions per minute. When it comes to workstation fans, size matters. But it's not just about looking pretty when you pop the hood of the Z820. Let's take a look. The design is also key to the functionality when it comes to troubleshooting or upgrading the unit. The HP Z820 can be disassembled without needing tools, including a screwdriver, and we've personally done this in a number of our reviews on the HP Z workstation line. Anything can be replaced with a flick of a switch or two. The HP Z820 continues the tradition of packing more power under its streamlined hood than any other workstation on the market. It has the potential to have two 12-core processors, each based on a Xeon server-grade processor. For the test machine we're going to show you today, we've chosen what we think is the sweet spot, a dual 6-core configuration, which keeps cost under $5,000. The machine was configured by this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com, specifically for video editing and production, and it's a pretty good system for most editors. Of course, they also tell me they'll be happy to customize the system to best meet your specific demands as well. In addition to the dual CPUs, there's a powerhouse of a GPU. The NVIDIA K4000 GPU has 768 SMX CUDA cores. That gives it the ability to drive anything from the HP Dreamcolor monitor to the newest Z27i, which I've reviewed, or the Z30i monitor. The combination of these two best-of-breed processors and GPUs means that HP's Z820 eats computations for breakfast, and it doesn't stop there. The Z820 has 16 DIMM slots, twice that of the closest competitor, and more than four times that of its diminutive glossy contender. This means the potential of hundreds of gigabytes of RAM. But again, to find the sweet spot, the machine we're reviewing today has 32 gigs of RAM, which is more than adequate for many jobs. All three of these powerful components mean that the workstations spit out real-time content creation, video editing, and highly intensive graphic renders. So whether you're using a 3D modeling engine, or just doing Adobe Premiere Pro video editing of 4K content, or even multiple layers of compositing in Adobe After Effects, you'll be sure to find something you like. If you've used the Z800 workstation in the past, you'll find this first example by Streaming Media's Jan Ozer quite interesting. Jan found that, for users who perform multiple tasks on their workstation, such as editing content and also running a Blu-ray authoring session in the background, the benefits of the Z820 are very noticeable. As a quick reminder, the machine we show here is a 16-core machine configured by VideoGuys.com, specifically for video editing and production. In other words, your mileage may vary. But, for editing red 4K content, for instance, the Z820 performed 44% faster than the older Z800 series workstation. For AVC intra-content, the results are even better, 
a 54% decrease in time needed to push through equivalent content. In addition is our second example, when it comes to outputting streaming media formats, the Z820 delivers. When using Adobe Media Encoder, the Z820 shaves almost 40% off the transcoding time. So projects that used to require an hour to transcode are done in less than 40 minutes. Speaking of which, since I've used the Z820 for my rendering, I've got 20 minutes to spare. I think I'm going to make a quick Starbucks run. Gotta go. Thanks.